Your Brain on Porn, Internet Pornography and the Emerging Science of Addiction by Gary Wilson. Like the Bible is to Christians, this book is to nofappers. I've explained what nofap is in another video, so if you don't know, it's important you watch that video first that I've linked in the description below. The thesis of the book in Gary's own words, Pornography poses a significant threat to the emotional well-being of many of its users, and it would be irresponsible not to acknowledge that threat as real and pressing. With that said, Gary makes it clear from the get-go that more research is needed into the neuroscience of porn addiction and for therapeutic responses. Now let's move on to the lessons. The first is the rise of no fat. It began in 2008 when people were freaking out and posting on forums about their erectile dysfunction, but they could get an erection to extreme porn and the help of the good old death grip style masturbation. When a dude went on his first 80 day nofap streak, more commonly known as a reboot, he started experiencing incredible benefits which nofappers refer to as superpowers. These fapsters began to come out of their closets and share their success stories. Soon the nofap subreddit on reddit.com blew up. It's now accrued over a quarter of a million followers. You can find over 2,000 accounts of people's rebooting experiences, including my own, over at yourbrainonporn.com slash rebooting dash accounts. I've also made a video that shows you the 10 most common benefits people experience when they quit porn. Now for some studies. Moderate porn use is correlated with reduced grey matter and decreased sexual responsiveness. This was presented in the prestigious medical journal JAMA Psychiatry in 2014. The researchers cautioned that the heavy porn users' brains might have been pre-shrunken rather than shrunken by porn usage, but favoured the degree of porn use as the most plausible explanation. The next lesson, frequency of porn viewing correlates with depression, anxiety, stress, and social malfunctioning, as well as a less sexual and relationship satisfaction, and altered sexual tastes, poorer quality of life and health, and real-life intimacy problems. The studies can be found in the description below. Lesson 4. Nerve connections between the reward circuit and prefrontal cortex worsen with increased porn watching. This is what experts at Germany's Max Planck Institute found when analysing the brains of internet porn users. They say, Dysfunction of the circuitry has been related to inappropriate behavioural choices, such as drug seeking, regardless of the potential negative outcome. This is evidence of an association between porn use and impaired impulse control. Gary backs his arguments with 197 citations and plenty more studies. So if you're interested in exploring the science further, I recommend reading the book, which is available for the best 5 bucks you ever spend over at yourbrainonporn.com. That brings us to lesson 5. The last part of this book shares the most common tips to help people like you during the recovery process. Here they are. Delete porn from all your devices. Move your furniture around to eliminate environmental cues that could potentially trigger you. Download a porn blocker. Track your nofap streak with a day counter. If you feel urges, do push-ups instead. Exercise. Get outside. Meditate. Keep a journal to record your progress. Do keep in mind that rebooting is not a linear process, so if you're high on life one week and down in the dumps in the next, be sure to stick it out. Pursue a hobby you've been putting off. Get inspiration by reading success stories. And last of all, my favorite, educate yourself. Watching this video is a great start. It blows my mind how skeptics will sit back and make pithy comments about nofat being pseudoscience without actually making an effort to try rebooting for themselves. Given that thousands of others are reporting the benefits they experience, the emerging science presented in this book, along with the fact that there is a huge potential upside and essentially no downside to trying, then any logical person would deduce that simply giving it a go is superior to continue pursuing a diminished sex life and poor well-being. So when I do videos on porn and nofap, you guys always have questions, so please ask in the comments below and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you for watching and don't forget to check out my other nofap videos. Cheers.